Hey guys, I'm here today to do a review of the book An Eye for Murder by Libby Fisher Hellman. An Eye for Murder is a mystery novel about a woman named Ellie Foreman who is a um, single mother. She and her husband got into a bit of a messy divorce that does play a rather large role in this book and she gets a call from a woman who says that her um, renter died and her name and number were found in his room but she doesn't recognize the name she doesn't know who this guy is so she goes to his apartment and gets wrapped up in this man with a fake identity who she has no idea who he is and it kind of snowballs from there I don't really know how to describe it because it's one of those books that you finish it and you sit back and you go what just happened and not in the best way either. Um, I gave this book three out of five stars. Um, there are three different plot lines going through this book. There is the one with the X that I kind of alluded to. And the second plot line is this guy's um, murder. And then the third plot line revolves around her and a politician that she is working for. She is a filmographer based on the whole film motif going on on the cover which I love. And so somehow the three plot lines come together kind of and there's an interesting love thing going on between her and a guy she meets through her investigation of the dead guy and it was great until about two-thirds of the way through. Two-thirds of the way through the book, things start getting a little crazy, and that was the part where Hellman kind of lost me. Um, I felt like at that point things were snowballing and snowballing and snowballing, but they weren't sto snowballing realistically. I thought that the ending was too dramatic, um, and I thought that it didn't really line up with the rest of the book. My initial reaction to the person that I was talking to as... Um, who was with me as I was reading this was that wasn't called for that was not the ending that fit with the book that was not at all it was a huge let's put it this way if the rest of the book was going at this pace you know it suddenly went and not in like the good we built up the tension way it was suddenly there were things happening that had never happened in the rest of the book and it was just all so over the top but it wasn't enough to completely kill it for me. It was enough that I'm going to be wary about reading anymore in this series. Ellie Foreman is an amazing character. I love her daughter. I'm hoping she stays with this guy that she met in this book. I'm interested to see this whole drama between her and her ex play out. And I kind of want to see how her um, filming business goes and how things work out for her and how she gets involved in more murders since this one was pretty random. But all in all, this is a solid 3 out of 5 star book. Um, do not be surprised when you hit that point. You'll know when you hit that point where things just start snowballing too much. If you're someone who likes murder mysteries and you aren't too worried about like Agatha Christie level awesomeness, perfection of writing, perfection of plotliness, although that is a bit debatable in some of her books, I would definitely give Eye for Murder a try. Libby Fisher Hellman has an amazing voice and her characters are all so much fun. And honestly, yes, it's got some errors in pacing and stuff, but it is the first book in a series, and this is not going to deter me from trying other Libby Fisher Hellman books. If you have read it, let me know what you thought down in the comments, and if you think you might read it, let me know that too, and we can talk about what you thought about it when you finished reading it. Because I haven't met anyone else who's read that book, this book, and I love talking to people about mutual books we've read. So I hope you guys are having a great day and I will see you guys next time.